Alpine skier Arif Khan is the only Indian athlete to qualify and compete at the Beijing Winter Olympics. You have uh, 1.4 billion people back in the country and, and you're going to represent them in the world's biggest games, which is Olympic Games. The 31-year-old is also the first athlete from India to earn a quota place in two different events, slalom and giant slalom. Arif started skiing at the age of four in Gulmarg, a town in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, where his father runs a ski equipment shop. I started skiing in 1994 by my father. He got me into this sport. So when I was born, after four years, he took me into this sport. He was very interested to have me being as an athlete for this. And, and since then, I never looked back, always training and, and keeping my goals high. He started competitive skiing when he was 10 and won his first gold medal at the age of 12 at India's national championship. Since then, he's participated in more than 127 international ski races, including four world championships. But funding has been an issue for Arif. Ahead of the Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Olympics, he had to turn to crowdfunding to train and to cover expenses. He fell short and couldn't compete. 2018 was a, a little bit hassle. The year we wanted to train early and wanted to travel for the races on time, but that did not work because we did not have a federation in place to connect with and, and have connections to get the funds as well on time. And back home, we are depending on tourism. That's how we earn our money. But those years, it was a different situation in Kashmir. We couldn't save. The crowdfunding happened, but there was very less than what was actually expected. Arif says a lack of infrastructure for professional skiing in Gulmarg has been a challenge for him, but he hopes things get better for the next generation of India's athletes. It was always difficult to find the right infrastructure, especially for professional sport in ski racing. And that's why we actually needed to travel to Europe to have trainings and races. And, and as far as I see, Gulmarg can only offer right now basic infrastructure for this sport, but it's developing every year. They, recently, the government has taken initiatives to bring this sport uh, into the considerations for promoting it globally. Maybe in future, we, we are going to see that happen. But his Olympics dream is finally coming true in Beijing this month. I'm looking for definitely for a good performance. That's my goal. That's for what I have been training over the years.